How do cowdies? Aloha. How we going? Cracker of a day for it. Weekly walk about this week. Heaps of cool toys, books, and ephemera. Lots of nice little matchboxes and lesnies and things like that. It's a pretty cool little Dumbo the Elephant push puppet. Monkeys, little monkeys car there, the monkey mobile. Pretty cool old Corny's footy car there. Some nice little fun ho tractors. Some nice gold jewellery. This ring's quite nice with a big opal in it. Little Cupid dolls are cute. Some good footy cards. More little die casts. Some nice little bits and bobs in the jewellery cabinet this week. Now, what have we got here? A nice little trunk carved on the top and on the sides and everything. She's lovely. She's a reproduction of a Chaparis. She is a bronze. She's beautiful. A uh, nice big bookshelf. His cute little pot cupboard there. Pretty cool as well. Little sort of fencing. Little old wrought iron fencing. Old dress patterns. Some pretty cool gent suits and stuff. Which is sort of blokey gear and some glass and crystal. And some more clothing and some pretty cool sort of vintage looking hanging light. Some nice gent shirts and clothing. Some sort of pearl press stud western shirts. And some other gear. Big boxes of toys and big boxes of china and stuff. And more action man stuff up the top there. Nice little box of reference books. Yeah, so we've got more kids toys and books and stuff. Star Wars gear. China. Some nice old life magazines. Pretty cool. A big sort of fiberglass thing. It's like the front of a sports car. It's got a little sort of window there to go with it as well. A little windscreen, which is on the actual mould, which is pretty cool. Some good quality cookware, scan pan and stuff. Big Marta Gottlieb mixed media. So we've got a nice little outdoor setting and some other outdoor gear. Stereo equipment. Some tribal wooden stuff. Nice collection of books, biographies and stuff. All the Mighty Maxes or whatever they're called. Some more kids toys in here. Action Man, another gear. There's a nice, all the RAAF, all the Australian military books. They've all got their dust jackets. Good old Lukey Luke up the top there. He's pretty new, but he's pretty cool. Some good motoring books. Ford. Some early Holden manuals there. Australian Encyclopedia, a little two-volume set. Pokemon cards. Heaps of kids toys. Some more good little sort of reference books. And some other books and cool sort of Peter Pan and other Walt Disney records in the cabinet there. Nice little kitchen canisters, some pretty cool old skateboarding stuff. More kids toys. Old number plates. Some more cool stuff in there. Ephemera. Some die casts. CDs. Some sort of more Pokemon stuff. Some cool old magazines, Man Magazine and some other stuff in amongst that lot. This is nice, the two-fold oriental screen, really nicely carved. It's got some inlaid, what does that look to be, bone it looks to be. Some, some of it's missing, unfortunately. Quite nice, we've got some good little pictures this week. Little Lindbergh Inkamala Hermansburg's quite nice. This is nice, the original Erte exhibition poster. Circle Gallery Soho, New, uh, New York City, 1980. This is nice as well. The Trevor Hoppen is a raw school artist with David Larwell and all those guys. It's a nice example of his work. And this is pretty cool. A Julian Trevelyan. Pretty important English artist. Um, it's got a label on the back from South Yarra Gallery. It's got old Violet Deleuze Gallery. It's a nice picture. This is a good thing. Etching an aquatint. What else have we got? Boxes of books and mannequins. Pretty cool little sort of Phillips little radiogram there. This is an interesting little tile picture, 1970s. Pretty cool chair. It's a copy of a, oh, I can't remember his name, who designed it in 1923, but it's called the Red and Blue Chair. It's pretty cool. Um, you can't buy reproductions, but you can buy off the interweb a kit to make them up with. And I reckon that's what this is, because there's no writing or marks on it or anything like that. Nice, nice thing. Pretty cool pig bear of French speakers. He's nice little Victorian-style sort of computer chair with the wheels on it. Big Pinocchio print. Another nice Erte print up the top there. Block mounted fashion thing. And some good die casts and toys. Grand Monnier. Some good CDs and some bottles of Plonk. More Pokemon stuff. Some old die casts and model kits and stuff there. A couple of nice Aboriginal dot paintings. Nice big lot of Playhower annuals and magazines or comics. 
Some good Hornby rolling stock in the original boxes. Bottle of Jack Daniels. A bottle of tequila. Got some more cool ephemera and stuff here. Some nice old Lego catalogs. Little fire trucks a ripper. I like this little three-piece little kids little set. Really cute, actually. It's a cool little lot. Reproduction tin signs and an old car radio out of a 1960s Ford or something. For Moco on the top there. Some more bottles of Plonk. Or Hornby Jubilo stuff in their boxes. Track and stuff like that. Nice first day covers and stamps. Big cutlery set. Some cool ephemerin amongst here. Tour, a round tour of Germany in 1939, which is kind of a bit interesting. Richmond Tigers, pretty cool book. This little grip lots. I like this little sort of beaten brass arts and crafts kettle over the back. It's got a little plug in the back there to whack the electric plug in it. He's cool. Nice little poniard as well up the top. Pretty cool little Westinghouse clock radio. Nice with a little blue plastic case on it. And he's nice, the boxed Matchbox Super King car transporter. Some cool comics, cool little lot of toys and stuff. Matchbox carry case with some cars in it. Some good sort of Hornby and other catalogues there. Matchbox dinky catalogues. Some plastic sea creatures. Nice big Stephen Deutscher painting. Lloyd Rees book's pretty cool. Some nice china here, Royal Winton. Big bit of Joseph Zyra over the back. Some Royal Dalton. Some interesting ephemera. Some more boxed Hornby rolling stock. Got some more cool old ice skates down the bottom in their original box are fantastic. Nice little sort of boat hulls with all their titles and stuff to go on the wall. More bottles of plonk. Nice little matchbox carry car. Car carrier there and another little dump truck. Some more boxed Triang railway gear swap cards. Nice old bottle of Stolichnia vodka. There you go, the Triang Puff Puff train's cool. Some good comics, Bluey and Curly and some others. More rolling stock. There's some nice stuff in the end cabinet here. Really like these, these 1930s, 1927 Asia magazines. All these lovely covers designed by Macintosh. All Art Deco. They are absolutely fantastic. One of the nicest things in the sale this week, I reckon. Beautiful covers on them. They're all in great condition. Panther Comics, Mexican Silver Platter. Big um, doll. Lovely booklet, this, or the book, 50 Masterpieces of Photography by Dr. Julian Smith. They've got all the examples throughout, um, all unframed. They all have facsimile signatures and titles on the mount, so they're not original ones, but it's nice to see them. Some great ephemera, Maribyrnong Speedway um, Souvenir Program 1947, featuring good old Jack O'Day on the front cover there. He could drive. Some cool old motoring manuals, some more nice dolls and photographs, little trains, a nice little Hornby one, a couple of nice bits of glass, orifers and something else. A little Victorian riding box, really nice Art Deco juicer, original thing. These are nice from the Australian front, some interesting World War I magazines, books. Um, this is a nice book as well, Jossel Bergner, Drawings to Franz Kafka, good thing. Some lovely bits of carnival glass, some more Hornby Locos, boxed one, little German money box is great. Little Japanese boats, pretty cool. Some more matchboxes. Lovely old laurel um, oil can over the back. I've got the top shelf. Some lovely old canisters. Nice little Hornby Loco there. Another little Hornby Loco in its box. Uh, this is nice, the atomizer with the sterling silver top. Snuggle pot and cutter by. Old FJ Holden mag uh, manual. Ford console sales brochure is a ripper. Another nice little Hornby Loco and another nice one in its box. And this is pretty amazing, this little bit. Little booklet, Pioneer Motor Trip of Australia, with the compliments of the Thompson Motor Car Limited Company, Flinders Lane in Melbourne. They drove it from Bathurst to Melbourne, 400, 493 and a quarter miles. It's the whole story throughout. It's a fantastic little booklet. And we've po popped in amongst it a little 1953 shell uh, card calendar as a little bonus. But very cool bit, the little booklet, the Pioneer Motor Trip of a Car of Australia. Very cool thing. Anyway, that'll do. I could keep rambling and on. But that'll do. Is hopefully you saw something you liked. But, you know, I don't really care if you did or if you didn't. <laughs>